chatting with us and uh, we'll be finished in just a couple minutes. All right, so we're going to continue on with our questions here. Um, can you tell me, we already talked about the class sizes here. Can you tell me some of the benefits of SSC's locations? Oh, I love the location and one of the main reasons I love the location, I guess it's a selfish reason because it's close to my house, but it's easily accessible. You have 294 and it's in a great um, community and it's a great location. It's easy for the um, students to get here and uh, the public transportation. If they don't have vehicles, it's wonderful. That's Perfect. And then um, tell me about some of the hands-on activities students get to do in class. Well, in my class, it's mostly lectures. We have one on um, a trip to uh, learn about civil um, law. But for the most part, um, I try to get the classes engaged with doing different um, activities, like having them come to the board and explain what our organizational charter is, draw it out in, in groups of that nature. What I plan to do in the future, if possible, is try to get them out and see how patrol operations actually operate. They sit in the squad car, get the fill up there, and see from an officer's point of view how it is inside that certain vehicle, how that vehicle operates and things of that nature. Because you learn more from doing it from sight than anything else. Absolutely, I agree with you 100%. Um, by any chance, do students have the opportunity to intern through SSC's criminal justice program? Do we have interns? I don't know, that's what I'm wondering, yeah. Do we, uh, we currently do internships in Blue Island, but for right now, we didn't have to put it on hold because we are um, training um, new officers and the new officers take precedence over internship. So once we get those officers trained, then there's always that possibility for internship, but we only take one internship at a time, one intern at a time, so it's it's a lengthy process, so to speak. I can imagine. How about through South Suburban College's program? Like, does South Suburban College require their students to do an internship if they're going for an associate's degree? Yes, um, it's, uh, I think an internship, and don't quote me on this, but I think an internship is a, an, an option that you have if you could get into the internship and it will um, apply towards certain classes and certain credits. That's really cool. I, I can imagine that. that I, I yeah. won't quote you on that. I'll, yes, uh, so, I'll talk to, yeah. uh, to Jason, too, yes, before we decide to do sure. something like that. I will. Um, let's see. Internship. Because I know it was some, certain students to say um, that came to me, uh, it was one female, and she asked me, can I, if she need to get into the internship for the school? And I, I was thinking the only reason she would want to get under the, the help with credits for, for the school. So I don't know. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk to Jason and find out. I know that it's required through their paralegal program. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm not, I'm not positive, I guess, either about criminal okay. justice. I'll, I'll ask him and find out. Um, what are the job options for students who graduate with an associate's degree um, in the field of criminal justice from South Suburban College? Okay. The job options, is, and this is important for the education. Uh, education, what's it gonna, what was I going to say? That's okay. You're going to cut it. Yeah, we'll cut it. It's okay. What's important is the graduate from SSC, you are getting basically that step ahead of anyone who don't have that degree. A degree is important because it tells that employer two things about you. It tells an employer that you're educated, and it tells that employer that you started something and you finished it. And these are the qualities that employers are looking for in the recruits. These are the qualities that employers are looking for in law enforcement. So that's why it's important to start your degree at SSC and finish your degree. How about, um, if I, so if I were to graduate with my associate's degree in criminal justice from SSC, what could I do professionally? Where could I go? What, with an associate's degree in criminal justice, you could apply for state police, you could apply for just about any municipal police department. Um, for example, with Blue Island, um, if you come in with a high school diploma, you're eligible to test um, for the position of a um, police officer. However, what we do is we um, get preference points for people with that associate's degree. So by virtue of you having your associate's degree, you have preference points over someone that just have that high school diploma. Interesting, I didn't know that. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, and then um, can you tell me 
Um, I know that you said that you've, you've been here about a year now at South Suburban, right? Yes. And um, as chief of police as well. Um, can you tell me a success story? Um, you kind of talked a little bit about one of your students, but can you tell me a success story that you know of about another South Suburban College student? Or is it a little too soon still? It's basically too soon. Okay. Because no, no worries. You know, I, I was just curious. I haven't had someone come to me and say, you know what? I'm a police officer. I did this. Yeah. 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 It's going to happen. Right. Give it yes. another year. I got year. a couple of them that they write on the borderline. They've been testing. So I'm pretty sure it's going to happen soon. Yeah. That student that you were talking about, that high school student, I wonder if you could give me like his name and contact info so I could reach out to him because he might be good to have in this video too to talk about the importance of starting soon. Yes, oh, that, that would so be good. So if, if you could do that, that would be awesome yes, because I, I think it would be really nice to include commentary maybe from some students as well. Okay. Um, so we'll talk about that afterwards. Um, what are some qualities or characteristics of someone who may be a good candidate for the field of law enforcement? Well, the qualities that we're looking for in law enforcement is, of course, someone that's disciplined, well-educated, someone that's capable, not only able, but capable of doing the job. Um, and it start with being disciplined enough to continue your education. We're looking for someone that's, of course, crime free, someone that's drug free. These are all the qualities that we look for in law enforcement officers. And um, I know too, during this time with like all the media stuff, all that stuff going on, somebody, I know you're, you're kind of yeah. like, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about, yeah. I'm sure. Um, what would you tell to those people who maybe may not be considering a career in law enforcement because of those things? What would you like to tell those people? Well, the first thing, when you're in law enforcement, the thing you have to remember, you're like a fish in a fish boat. Everywhere it's going to be watching you swim. In law enforcement, you just have to make sure you swim in the right direction because people will be watching you. In other words, all I'm saying is, in law enforcement, you have to make sure that you do what's right, not what's popular. If you do what's right, you'll be totally fine. And is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I look forward to teaching at SSC. I look forward to next semester. I have a couple of classes next semester. And uh, I'm looking forward to all the things that teaching could offer me and all the things that I can offer to my students. You're, um, I love the excitement that you emit. Like throughout the entire interview, you showed a lot of excitement and you did a really great job. So thank you so much for helping us out with this. Um, and then Eric, anything you'd like to ask? No, I think you got it all. All okay. right, thank you thank so you. much. You did such a great job. Thank you. Get these hot, hot lights out of okay, your way. Okay, no problem.